Hello everyone, and welcome back to another part of Tales of Berseria. Um, for some reason it feels a lot slower. <laughs> Maybe it was just loading in or something. Um, we last left off, um, we saw the, uh, the, the bad guy. <laughs> I forgot his name already, because I suck with names, but, um, yeah. <laughs> that ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something, too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgan's vulnerable without him. Oh, no. I feel like she's got ideas. It's probably not very... Well, good ideas in some extent, but... Probably not the ones you'd want to have for... Everybody's well being. Must grab all the items. <laughs> I like how they just let anyone buy. And not even saying anything about it. Uh... High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the abbey. Hmm. <laughs> So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Ah, yes. Sarcasm. I'm going inside. <laughs> These guards aren't guarding anything. You're like, we're, we don't look suspicious at all. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches, the mathematical logic, the structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. 
Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Premium sake. Well, isn't that something interesting to have inside of cathedral? <laughs> Praise be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshipped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. Hmm. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Oh, my repent. God. Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Oh my god. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child. Assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Ah, uh, someone's a bit frightened. <laughs> Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped! I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See? That's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> no, no, no! See? Even children are being tempted by their evils. Eating both Mabo and curry together, it's heresy. There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint. If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. Sometimes listening to stuff like that is good for a good laugh. Nothing more. Anyways, how's our equipment looking? Ooh. Uh, drops the accuracy though. It 
I think we need to bust up some boxes. That was our... Our, our mission from the old lady. Wherever that might be. Bread comes. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgen would be a smoking ruin. Hmm. Going to venture to guess we can go out here. Greetings, Magilu's menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the code red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red Demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these code red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red Demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Blood Wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. You can use Einoff Battle by pressing LT when you're in town or field teleport you directly to specified locations. What? Oh my gosh. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? 
Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. Uh. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. First, Millie, I think sweet potatoes are gross. I'm sure you're already aware, but if you screw up during a hunt and die, we aren't responsible. Good luck. Uh, thanks for that, I guess. Ugh. You better be ready. Come on. No mercy. Wounds that won't heal. Carved into flesh. Lethal pay. That all you got. Take that. Devour. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. You said that before. Uh, run away from the dodo bird. I think this is where our ships are. Looks like you finished a hunt. I figured it was about time. Am I not allowed to take this? No. Maybe it's level locked or something. I want to give this another try. Because I make it Here something I good. Take that! Devour! That all you got you! That all you got! Syringet! Next! Syringet! Next! Syringet! Next! Got you! Oh my god. Got you! Come on. Come on, really? That was not great. Maybe we should try someone else. Like... Let's see if Lafayette said has anything... Like... The big impacts or whatever. Oh. Oh, never mind. He sucks. <laughs> I know it's not his fault, but he's just too small to reach them. Yeah, no. I'm good.
Rokuro or Aizen might have something a bit better, but... I just don't feel up to trying. Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser! Yep, you're completely right. Hmm. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Oh, it's these Red boxes. Crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. Oh no. <gasps> it's you! Oh hey, the crybaby. <laughs> Eleanor Hume! Exorcist Praetor! Oh, well, uh, wait this time. That was interesting timing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Heed. Wow. Tremble! Flash step! Next! Hold up! Got you! Alright, she's out. Willing to fight without your Malachim? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malachim up her sleeves? I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! <gasps> He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last! That bad, bad boys! Fian Fu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! <laughs> What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! <laughs> Witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? Let's just say for a second that the, uh, 
the medication was actually like poison or something. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish! I had that little turncoat right in front of me! Well, at least now I know where to find him! That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report our success. I do believe we should just teleport. It's a lot faster that way. Okay, I must be insane. I saw something on the rooftop, but it was just a chimney. <laughs> Do you want info and requests? Just as well. You're here then, isn't it? Not like I can accept it anyway, but... Alright. Trouble at the docks, was there? Well... So long as the job was done. Stop an ambush aimed at Royal Medical Society on the Denim Highway. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Denon Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? Seems like... Maybe not the greatest thing to do. Uh, where might this area be? Huh? Oh no, you have to use an item. This is awful. <laughs> taking a very long time to walk from place to place. I should buy more of those items. Oh my gosh, it's gonna happen again, so I might as well just confront them. We're finished here. Let's go. Just going to assume it's this way. Oh. 
Come on. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. What did you end up getting? Hmm. No. Let's attack. So I'm not interested. Chipped copper coin. Oh, I have too many. Be gone until the ban of travel is lifted. None may pass, even with a permit. There have been great storms and shifts in the earth and the Aldina Plains. The Abbey has restricted travel there. But there are pioneer settlements out there. that trade the people in them will. Many cannot waste the resources on the few. Just in the wisdom of the Abbey. Very well. I suppose it is the proper choice. I'm gonna have to do something with these coins. I think I can just sell them, but... We'll have to see. Well, I can definitely say it's nowhere over there. The direction that we were just at. It must be somewhere the other two ways. Yeah, I, I'm I'm highly doubting that. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry, I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down, and to make sure that I kill him. Oh, more dialogue. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. 
That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madame Eleanor. Face me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> If you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, all right. <laughs> Velvet is easily embarrassed. Understandable. <laughs> oh, women's armor that has calcite sewn into the material. Let's see. Ooh. That's good. This one. Glad I checked up here. The ninety five? Be filthy rich for that. <laughs> this one. Guess I'm just gonna have to go around collecting clumps. This one's close, so I'm going to enter and exit over and over. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe it doesn't work the same way I thought it did. That sucks. Oh my gosh, this again. Seems like this area is not where we need to be. What the heck 
are we supposed to go then? Actually, let me go to the shop and see if they have any more of those teleporting things. What was it? Hmm. Seems that they do not. I'm going to sell some of these, uh, coins, because I have far too many. Here the... Oh. Honestly, just think they're there so you can get money from them. But they're worth almost nothing. <laughs> I think we've already been over here. the cathedral. I'm gonna look up here again anyway. Might as well in case they have something just popped up for the quest. It doesn't seem like anything has. Well, I understand this is a cathedral and all, but this music is a bit extreme. See a cat clump. Maybe I'll try talking to the lady in the end. See if she has any more information for me. How you go about it is up to you. Once you're finished with the job, come back and report to me. Okay, but, you know, that's not useful information. Dealing with customer here is, is harder than, my, than any job the blood beings will throw at you. Care to see for yourself? Uh, I'm not good at card games. It's a lowly tarnished queen. Yeah, at this point I'm just lost. I, I don't know where to go. We can check in there. Hmm. 
now. It's a history book titled The Rise and Fall of Midgand. About 800 years ago, our continent was conquered by a military force from another continent. Few records exist of the following 500 years. A period known as the Era of Darkness, or the Dark Period. Then 300 years ago, a great hero named Claudin Asgard reunited the kingdom, bringing an end to the Dark Period. Claudin, huh? Where have I heard that name before? All right, that's enough for today. Thanks for teaching me, Arthur. Your techniques are so amazing. Where did you learn them? They came from my own master, a man named Claudin. He developed them himself. Wow, they're so graceful. I wish I could move like that. <sighs> I've taught you the forms, but for some reason your execution deviates from the ideal. Uh, well, my body just kind of moves on its own. You're a handful, Velvet. But I will say you do resemble Claudin some. He was a strange person himself. He always wore this peculiar cape, for instance. A uh, cape, you say? Deep down, Claudin was strong like fire, vivacious like water, steadfast like earth, and free like wind. I can't help but admire him to this day. Wow, I'd love to meet him. Sadly, that's impossible. Is he... dead? Yes, he is. He died to protect me. That's why I... No way. The events recounted in this book happened 300 years ago. It can't be the same Claudin. Uh, Velvet, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't mind me. King Claudin was quite strong, wasn't he? He was more than just that. He's the most well-loved and trusted king in our history. Or so the book claims. To this day, all of Midgan's rulers claim to be direct descendants of King Claude and Asgard. Knowing that, there might be meaning behind them bestowing Arcturus with the grandiose title of Shepherd. I could see it as an attempt to recreate the same glory enjoyed by the Hero King who ended the Dark Period. If that's true, it's a childish ploy. The world's not so easily changed. I wouldn't be so sure. What matters is that the title inspires hope in the people, who in turn give him their support. Then, as their shepherd, he can guide his flock in any direction he pleases. Hmm. If Arturius knowingly accepted that title, we can be sure he's fully committed to his cause. Oh, he's certainly committed. I've seen just how far he's willing to go. That was a surprising amount of lore for something that was just laying there. I mean, I, I don't mean it in a bad way, it's just... I don't know, it's kind of interesting how, like, you can miss that much. If you're not paying attention, you just out of a lot of lore. <laughs> We're getting close on cat clumps. Assuming I'm able to find where we need to go. And we have enough time, we will go back and open up the chest. I hope that has something good.
Oh my gosh. Come on, really? How about we not? The only other place I can think of is past like the cellar and stuff that we burned down. <laughs> Just assume, oh. Uh, some jerk in a hat with a bird on it tried to pick a fight with me. Ran after him, but when I got back, the fire was burning out of control. In other words, you were abandoned. You, you abandoned your post. Y yes, sir. <laughs> this area is off limits for investigation. Plus, we need to do a little cleanup. Understood. You folks are good at what you do. Who knows if she's being sarcastic. Alright, I'm almost out of ideas. This recipe looks real tasty. Ooh. Scout ship setting sail. Thirty minutes. Well, that area is blocked off. He doesn't have one of those teleporting bottles either. Wait, what? Dangerous encounter? Well, that sounds fun. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cards into flesh! 
I think it's dead. Oh my god. I'm gotcha. about to die. With <laughs> 20 or more souls in a single battle, seek out dangerous fights. There is something else. Oh god. Uh, let's use an item. Wait, am I able to use it? It was a close one, but I am the victor. Oh my gosh. So many items. <sighs> oh. Or oh, I see. So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. That scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah. All three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. I see. The job is done. Time to leave. In just a moment. I don't want to leave behind some stuff that we could benefit from. Take the shiny tree thing. Wait a second, this is not the place I want to be going. <laughs> it's a pretty skybox. Should we attack a dodo? Always ready to fight. The answer is always yes. Dark and light. Dark and light. 
They were nothing. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> you people are awful influences. <laughs> All right, let's check out what's happening over here with this chest. And you will turn in the request that we've gotten and then save the game and then end the video there I can't even know how long this has been going for let me see an hour and two minutes not too bad and it gave me nothing Oh, that makes me so happy. Why did I waste my time? Almost a hundred cat clumps for nothing. I wonder if it's just a random... Thing that happens or if it's just every chest is different and it'll give you something or not give you something because if so I I'd probably just not get some of them you're good at what you do I'm impressed find and bring back a scholar named Mindy who disappeared along Gallus Lake Road there's still more to do. I'm sure it'll be easy for you. Quest after quest. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities. But our job isn't to ask questions. Right. Well, this is more tracking than anything. <laughs> but if you all did enjoy anyway, please do consider leaving a like, subscribing, and leaving a comment down below. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all again sometime soon. And until then, goodbye for now.